how to correct the white balance this is the first thing which you need to do uh, before initiating the post processing of a, a, an image so in this tutorial we will learn how to fix the white balance this image was clicked uh, in Uran Mumbai so we will be using this image and through Adobe Camera Raw and Adobe Photoshop we will fix the white balance we will learn two three different techniques through which uh, white balance can be corrected okay so let's get started so the, there is a tool in adobe camera raw uh, which is called white balance tool uh, either you can press i which is shortcut for the uh, white balance tool or you can press this icon uh, which is just uh, after the hand tool so just press the icon and here you see when i'm hovering over the uh, image the R G B values changing so it shows that pixels uh, has uh, red uh, uh, 97 green 96 and blue 91 so what you need to do in order to correct or fix the white balance you need to click on the pixel which is having closer RGB value um, so here you need to find out the you know where the uh, RGB value are closer make sure that you should not click uh, on extreme end like uh, on just black like 0 or 255 where the highlights are more so you need to find out a pixel which is having you know a closer RGB value so let us find out you know which is having closer RGB value so here I see the R is 90 86 and 80 so let's go to tuck 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 94 90 90 okay so so uh, let's do one thing we'll click here it's 92 89 and 82 so let's i'm going to click it you just see the temperature and tint value is 6750 and plus 3 so we will be clicking here 93 89 82 so let's do one thing yeah let's click okay so can you see the changes so let me just show you this was before this was after before after so through single click you can see the you know, white balance has been corrected in adobe camera raw there is another uh, method uh, which is a second method uh, which i'll show you how to correct the white balance so let us you know make it uh, as short so that we can compare uh, the techniques this is a manual technique uh, so what you need to do um, uh, increase the saturation like 100 percent increase vibrance a little bit and then manually you adjust the temperature and tint so that it, there should not be you know color cast in the image so uh, uh, so here i see you know uh, yellow color cast so what i need to do uh, since uh, 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 yellow is a result of uh, uh, blue so i am going to increase blue where i'll see you know less blue so I think this is if I am going to you know below 5000 Kelvin uh, you can see you know the background become more blue so I think this is okay and tint here I think this is this looks fine yeah and don't forget to you know make uh, the vibrance and saturation to zero what its original value so can you see we have you know uh, corrected white balance through manual by increasing the saturation and vibrance tool so this was before and this was after before after so we have learned two different techniques to uh, using Adobe camera raw you can you know uh, fix the white balance now this is not uh, you know um, you can see uh, accurate method so in order to do uh, you know um, accurate uh, either you should use a gray card later on in post processing you just give the value of midtone to that uh, gray card or uh, suppose in wildlife you cannot use gray card so what uh, you can do you can fix uh, through post processing so the third technique which i am going to show you through the adobe uh, uh, photoshop uh, before jump to 
Photoshop. Uh, let us learn another, you know, third technique in Adobe Camera Raw, which is very simple. Uh, simple, you know, by pressing uh, this white balance to auto. So it has done a uh, uh, job, but not a uh, uh, decent job uh, it has done. So uh, you can see this is this was before and this is after. Okay, so we have learned three you know techniques through which you can correct the white balance using Adobe Camera Raw. Now we will jump uh, to Photoshop. Let us open this image in Photoshop. Okay. So now in we are in uh, Photoshop. What technique we are using here is uh, 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 that's that's called uh, 50 using 50 percent gray layer to find out the gray point, and also we will be using uh, threshold layer and then blending mode to difference. So these three four things we will be doing here to find out the gray point. After that we'll be using curve layer uh, to fix the white balance. So I'll show you the principle uh, uh, how uh, the white balance will be fixed. Suppose I uh, you know uh, uh, we'll be using uh, this uh, through manual technique. So I'll open a uh, curve adjustment tool. There are three you know uh, pens. One is black, gray, or you can say midtones, and then white. So ideally, uh, suppose I'm clicking on this gray point and i'm clicking uh, the on the pixel which is having a gray you know uh, point it will correct the white balance but the problem here is uh, how to find out the exact gray point so suppose uh, just you know uh, manual selection uh, i am you know clicking on any gray point and let us see how it will uh, fixing the white balance so can you see the you know changes this was before and this is after this is purely a manual technique uh, we will find out a particular gray pixel on the gray point in this image uh, and then fix the white balance so i am deleting the curve layer here okay i am copying the layer by pressing command j or drag the slider to this layer now we will be uh, uh, inserting a 50% gray layer. So how to do that? Very simple. Press add new new layer. Press shift and backspace. And then 50% gray. Press OK. You can also you know uh, uh, do this by uh, menu. Let let me delete it and this new layer go to image sorry edit fill and then 50 percent gray okay now this is a 50 percent gray layer now we will make the blend mode to difference so here is difference uh, the image look weird so don't go into that now after that we will be uh, uh, using threshold layer. So the image would become total black. We will drag the slider towards the left hand side till the time I see you know any single or two three you know black point. So the principle behind here is listen this carefully. We are finding gray layer. In this image where there is a gray point we have also introduced a 50% gray layer and in the blending mode we are uh, using difference so any gray point when it is subtracting to the 50% gray layer the value would become zero I'm going to say if you uh, div I mean, so minus 128 minus 128 the value become 0 so we will be using that technique and the 0 means black so I'll I am you know picking this sampling tool color sampler tool and I'll make it bigger 
and I am something on the any black point. So you can see the RGB value here is. Now after that, uh, the point has been sampled. After that, we will delete you know all these threshold layer, then layer one. Okay. So you can see this is actually a gray point or a, a, you know gray uh, layer. After that, we will be using a curve tool, curve adjustment tool to fix the white balance. Open the curve tool. In curve tool, what you need to do, press the mid tone or the gray point and press on the exactly on the sampled area. Command zero. So can you see we have fixed the white balance using a curve tool. So this was before and this is after. So this is the you know right technique to correct the white balance rather than you know depending on the manual or anything. So this is the you know uh, various techniques through which we learn how to correct the white balance. So uh, so in Adobe Camera Raw, uh, we have used three different techniques and in Photoshop, we have used uh, gray layer. Also, uh, you know, um, uh, another way is by using uh, threshold layer and go to extreme and uh, find out black point and white point. And through black point and white point in the curve tool, you just give value of the black and white point and you can fix the white balance. But this gray you know, point is a better technique through which you can correct the white balance. So uh, before closing, uh, let us you know, summarize the uh, what we have learned. So fixing white balance using Adobe Camera Raw. So, uh, there are three techniques I have mentioned here only two using white balance tool hover over the image where you see closer RGB value and click it. Uh, make sure the don't click on the extreme um, and like uh, white and black point. Second technique is manual drag the saturation to 100% and also the vibrance to around 30 and then you change the tint and temperature until there is no color cast. Uh, so these are the two techniques. The third technique we learned is uh, in Adobe Camera Raw is the auto, uh, which is very simple process. Uh, you can pause the uh, you know, video and uh, you can screenshot uh, that uh, this technique of Adobe uh, Photoshop how to correct the white balance. First, open uh, new layer, fill it with 50% gray, change blend mode to difference, open threshold adjustment tool drag the thresh, uh, threshold adjustment tool to extreme left until you see a few black spots these are actually the gray points now uh, pick uh, the color picker tool and then sample the uh, the black point these samples are actually a gray point now uh, after that delete the 50 percent gray layer and the threshold layer uh, and uh, accept the background layer delete all the layers after that uh, the last thing is open the curve tool curve adjustment tool and point the mid tone or the uh, gray point where we have sampled the pixel so this way we can you know fix the white balance it is also to be noted that uh, you know it is not necessary to fix the white balance for every image depending on the mood depending on the temperature and timing when you click you can you know leave the white balance as such or you know alter a little bit here and there in order to show the particular mood of any image thank you very much